Hello and welcome to another episode of the Riot where Chewie and I don't usually pose like this, but for some reason we found ourselves in that situation. But hi. Yes, uh, this <laughs> week we'll be talking about Migaloos, Boogaloos, more sharks, and a real life Power Ranger will be here with us. So. That's correct, with his real life costume too. So stay <laughs> tuned, we got some very cool stuff for you only here at the Riot. This episode of The Riot was brought to you by John Robert Powers. We make it happen. Welcome back. Short break, <laughs> as always. <laughs> This week we have more animal videos um, for yeah. videos of the week and headlines of the week. And it's it's not weird for me to figure out that you know our wonderful producer got all of these stories for us because recently also on my Facebook account for some reason, man, puro animal videos yung nakikita ko. Ay, so si Angel ng yata friend natin sa Facebook. Yeah, kailan yung pina follow natin sa Facebook and Twitter. So a lot of animal videos, hindi animal videos. Escalator and elevator um, accidents. Oh, so we'd yeah. much rather see the animal videos. I don't. I'm not into. I saw an elevator one. I'm really scared of elevators. So I'm like, I know. I'm, yes. I'm not gonna watch this one. But I think that's a legit fear. I think that's a legit. Fear. It, it should. I think so yeah. too. And I saw. You know? Did you know that there is a fear um, of there's a person mamerselang sakit na they fear that a duck somewhere is staring at them. A duck? Yes. A duck uh, somewhere is staring at them. That's actually kind of creepy. Yeah, that's a specific that's fear, creepy. but it's it's true though. No, but there are actually I'm gonna be honest. I am kind of scared of ducks. Right? There are there are people in the province. They don't buy dogs. They hire ducks. <laughs> You're kidding? No, there are really really tough ducks out there. Why? They'll What chase you, you off. They'll oh. chase you off. Yeah. See, that uh, makes sense. That fear yeah. makes sense now. I, I don't know why. I, but we're going large scale um, today. It's not about ducks, but rather about whales and so many other cool stuff. Yeah, and of course, why would we miss out on another week of giving you more sharks? sharks. <laughs> anyway, here are the headlines of this week. Headlines, headlines, headlines. Headline of the week. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> And we're back with the headlines of the week. So they recorded it for reals though, yeah? It was it was recorded. What was our what, what's the recording? It was what we sang last week and the week before that when we always say we always complain, you guys should record this so we don't even have to say it anymore. Uh, uh, so it's actually just you and me going bom bom bom. Anyway, let's start with a uh, Migaloo. Is that pronouncing it Migaloo? Correctly. It's like a jigaboo, but it's a, it's a <laughs> shark. It's a whale. Anyway, a migaloo is a rare white whale. Uh, again, our friends in Australia. Every week, I think we're we're giving you news about Australia. Uh, GN, uh, there's a there's a photo. No, it's not. It's not it's another so to go. Nice. That is. A, it's a really rare whale. So it only came last time it was spotted and it came out. It was 2013, and it decided that this week. It would come out again. I'm coming up. Du, du. I yeah. want the world to know. Got to let So we have a video show. of it uh, just for your viewing pleasure. Here it comes. Up. There it goes. <gasps> What a beaut. Yun August pala, it's, like some, it's some submarine North Korea made <laughs> just to spy on the world. They happen wow. every two years. Look at that. Look at that. This is too bad, Steve Irwin. I, like I kind of miss Steve Irwin now, because then he'd, I know he'd be showing us what's going on, and I don't know whatever happened. To Look at that like, beauty! <laughs> yeah, I don't know like whatever that. happened to people like him, like Jeff Corwin and and, st- and people like them. But Bindi's really hot now. His daughter. What? Yeah, she was she yeah. was a toddler. She had that 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 show. She used to come to all of his shows all the time too. Yeah. Look so at that beauty. Imagine, right? That lives just under. It's crazy. Why is it? Uh, why why are white white whale sharks so so weird though? I don't think they're a whale shark. I think they're just whales. Yeah. They're just whales. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're just whales. I don't know. I think the fact that they're white and we're all just is this an albino or is just a albino. it's an albino one. So you know how um, being albino is kind of a rare thing nowadays uh-huh. too. I guess it's even more rare when it comes to shark or to whales. <laughs> sharks don't. <laughs> Whale sharks. Yeah. Anywho, uh, go, moving on from that, we have another one. 
another aminal. But this one I think happened here, right? This one happened here in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. We're not sure. It happened here. Uh, this is actually, this is something that we need to watch because this is the effects of uh, what we throw into the trash if we don't recycle it and whatever. And then bad things happen like this. I want the video to explain it, but it's going to play behind us, right? So here is a toidal. All right. It's cute. Toy it's cute. But unfortunately, it can't breathe properly because it has a straw stuck in its nostril. So... In the beginning of this video, the turtle actually was crying because it was so painful. Whoa. See, the thing is dropping. Yeah, there are drops coming down from its little snouty nose. That's um, blood. That's blood now. That was tears. Uh, but they, yeah. Oy, whoa, whoa. Shucks. Yeah, look at that. That's a straw. They got it out. That's a straw. That's a straw. So I mean. And when I was in college, first year in college, people, and especially in UPI, we have so many, so many uh, rallies going on, so many people trying to be activists about so many other things. Sometimes yeah. things that are so simple, you know. Period shaming. Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> like what we did last week. Um, but yeah, one of the things that uh, my blockmates, Bika Meili, discussed to us was about this. Like she, I, we would go to fast food chains, and I'd ask her, "Why don't you use the straws?" So she goes, first of all, it's probably dirty because you don't know what's gone through the straws, and second of all, where do all the straws go?" You know, you've seen so many. They've seen so many. Uh, bi biologists have seen. No, not marine biologists mm -hmm. have seen so many animals uh, die. You know, just wash offshore and then when they open up the animal or see its x-rays it's lots of plastics that they eat that they um they think are food <coughs> yeah. and especially since it washes off to to their home but right? they'll just eat anything it's like dogs yeah i mean uh, i still, still remember the um early 2000s and late 90s uh their number one uh environmental campaign is the seal with the uh can you know how you buy a six pack and then there's there's a soda or yeah. a beer uh plastic wrap thing that you can carry it all yeah. at once the seal had it across his head also a seagull had it across its head i yeah so i think this is the one thing that we have to keep in consideration also especially here in the philippines where we don't really recycle yeah we don't really recycle it's it's something that people are trying to do but they don't understand it's even it's color coordinated damn it and it's already put in tagalog yeah and, but then it's also confusing because you're like well what is really biodegradable, biodegradable and what's non-biodegradable yeah. but yeah whatever anyway let's move on uh there's another one that's coming back to the philippines here or we're not sure if that was here but anyway coming home uh we released a philippine eagle and it was shot down <laughs> i know i shouldn't laugh but what the irony is it was shot it was shot and no no no, no. It, it's not the video of him getting shot huh? that's him being released. yeah that's him being released that would have been pretty fucking ghetto if he <laughs> shot him right there oh uh, look at actually he's kind of cute it's it's kind of cute till its talons like rip your face off yeah um i also recently saw a video of an eagle that took down a drone a flying drone oh so. yeah we had that from last week right yeah we had that yeah, yeah. Darn it, it we took it out that. it took it out but um it's really sad how we try to do something good yeah and then suddenly it ends up dead something so nationalistic yeah but uh, I want to cap off our, our, our videos, our headlines of the week with something coming from Davao uh, where we have people uh, controlling traffic, especially. I remember this when I, was, when I first came here to the Philippines. Someone did this in the fort. Remember the Lumang MTV commercials? Uh, sa Masayo, yung guard, uh, I don't know if you're old enough to remember that. But uh, in Davao, uh, there are traffic enforcers. They're dancing to twerk it like. I can't hear it. I don't want to hear it. Unfortunately, due to some. Um, do we have audio on this one? I don't think we have audio on I this one. I think they have audio for people to hear it, but not for one Not for us? us. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm, like I'm about, to, I'm about to say the uh, in copyright infringement um, disclaimer. <laughs> if you had no audio due to some copyright infringement, we do not have audio for that one. But if you did, I hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations. That. But if you watch the whole video, um, I just realized 
if you look at the traffic behind them where they weren't facing, uh -huh. it was there. It stood still the whole epin time. So, <laughs> welcome to the Philippines. That's what you get from the Philippines. Yeah, and no, especially if you're a cop in uh, Davao, if whatever Mayor Duterte tells you to do, you better do it. You better do it. Anywho, um, so today, talking about in the lines of Mayor Duterte, we got a crime fighter here. We yes, got, we do. We got someone that saves the world. But uh, he, he came. He came in normal gear today. He came in normal gear, but fortunately, he actually brought with him his costume. I'm actually. That's not a costume. I'm it's a battle it. gear. It's battle gear. Yeah, uh, we'll tell you more about. Uh, actually, uh, you'll see what we're talking about when we come back from the break. So uh, do keep it right here on the right. Coffee time! Bye! Bye! Wish us luck! Wish me luck! <laughs> Is this recorded? Yes. Don't hit my car. <laughs> okay. Well, how was your day? How was your day? You know what this is? This, this, this thing is just an excuse. <laughs> so, uh, so I could get to spend time with you. Yeah, so long. Wallace. <laughs> Ani patumba ka? Ika lang pasok. Pasit milk ka ba? Yes. Hey, let's go. Okay. Coffee. 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 Love will keep us alive. <laughs> That's not true. We all need food. <laughs> Tito, can I borrow one of your toys? Uh, which one, Damien? The legendary Morpher. Whoa! That's one, that's one! This place is starting to feel like Angel Grove. Let's rock it! Three, three, five. Not so fast! Tito, where were you guys? I had to fight the monster by my own. How cool! Why don't we cut it? Oh Why my god! I wanted to watch the. They even had a Captain America. But the great thing is, he actually has a channel where you can watch all of his videos. Please welcome here on the show YouTuber, cosplayer, musician, and all around wonderful guy, Chris Cantata, everybody! Hey! Hello! You should be met on me. Yeah. Crowd dito ngayon. Pero wala. But we in wanted the, to have you solo because of the, the wonderful season. costume that you have. <laughs> in the intern season. <laughs> wala. Graduate na yung mga tao dito. Or nasa school na silang lahat. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for being with us here. Thanks for having me. Um, interesting videos. Uh, actually, we know of you mostly because, you know, you taught Talia, one of our talents also yeah. from NMFTV, to play drums. So, first question. Where does the musician and then the cosplayer artist merge in? I don't know. It you know I I, I always thought of myself as um, a musician. Mm -hmm. Grade school, high school, college. Yeah. Never have I thought that I would try or I would be in this world where I'll have to do something to do with video, mm -hmm. like to direct or something. I'm always scoring. Yeah. I'm always the one doing the sound design or make the music and um, I think the reason why uh, I started making videos and most especially Power Rangers is because well first I was a Power Rangers cosplayer okay and I, I used to be obese in college like 200 pounds and then when I when I sh when I shrunk and then the first and, order of business. And then, I'm gonna put uh, on a Power Rangers costume. Something like something like that. <laughs> As it should be. Anybody who's trying to lose weight. <laughs> More because uh, it was the 20th anniversary of Power Rangers a few, like a year ago or two years ago, mm -hmm. and then it just popped into my head like, wow. And I also found out that there are a lot of cosplayers in the world, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. cosplaying this and cosplaying really good quality stuff. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to try it out. And so when I got my first costume, 
and it wasn't Halloween yet. <laughs> it was like months before. I just wanted to wear it all the time, and I wanted to do it without in a socially acceptable. Okay. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want to just go to the mall and say, "Hey guys, what's up?" Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just thought, since the thing about Power Rangers is the morphing mm -hmm. when you transform, and it was kind of easy to to make a very D, uh, DIY morphing video. Cost, yeah. You just keep like like that. Keep it in a tripod, shoot something in civilian, and then just cut, cut, and then mm. go in costume, and then put some transitions and sound effects. Yeah. So that was my first thing into the video editing mm -hmm. world. And then I, upl I up uploaded some videos to YouTube. But at that time, I was a musician. I didn't re I, oh. I just uploaded it, and then I left, let it be for like uh, four or five months. And then when I came back to it, I was surprised that it started gaining traction. Yeah, and, and, and then I made made another one, let it be again for a couple of weeks. It wasn't like a daily thing. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. I wasn't focused. On, I have to make videos. It was just like I, I wanted to have fun mm. and set it aside. Let, yeah. let it be because you know. I mean. Uh, who would I mean? Who would watch this? Uh, in my head, I was like, "Who would watch this?" Just me and my friends. I'll show it. I'll have a, we'll have a laugh, and yeah, and that's how it. But I think it's genuine because you guys are having fun, and it comes across that you're genuinely having fun. Mm. But fun fact: so you started this one, uh, one or two years ago, uh, like uh, a year and a half. A year, a year ago? and a half. So within that year and a half. You can go back to his videos on his channel, and the uh, videos are averaging millions mm. of views. Super entertaining, yeah. dude. I have a hard time getting 10 people to listen to me in one day, so <laughs> there you and go. And they're facing us already. Yeah, that's and, and it's weird that um, I was told that I was one of the rare cases that uh, the country where I'm from is not the number one. Yeah. Who, mm. uh -huh. Like, my number one is the States. And then second is Vietnam. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea why Vietnam. And Maybe Philippines you is like. kind of Vietnamese. I, have, I guess. Yeah. And Philippines is like seventh. Okay. Oh, okay. So I was yeah. like, wow, that's that's interesting. It's a little odd, but it's a good kind of odd. Yeah. Right? So do you write your own material? Yes. And uh, you make your own costumes. <laughs> how how did this go about? At, at the start. There wasn't really anything to write. It okay. was just stupid fun. Uh. And then when I started trying to do skits, I uh, I tried to do some. And then I also have some uh, friends who helped me mm -hmm. just to collaborate. And then with the costume, I'm not... I mean, these hands are... Let's, let's lift this up. Yeah. Let's lift this up. It's not too how cool! What's it made of? Deepo to M M dispenser. This is a. This is made out of fiberglass. Okay. So if this drops, it breaks. Okay. Not, that's why I'm really not gonna yeah. touch it. So. Uh, Can you wear it? Yeah. Can you wear it now? Uh, yeah, I, I think. Yeah. I think. Okay, we don't uh -oh. want you to get stuck into it. You need to get home, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if you saw what he carried it in, it, it looks like there's a special case what you carry wow. wine in. But uh, here we go. That's so cool. This is what happens. Uh, this is what makes Quickly, the, let me the take videos. Okay, one, yeah. two, three. <laughs> anyway, for those yeah. who didn't know, uh, we keep mentioning that Chris here is can a musician. Can you see anything? Yeah, there yeah. are holes. <laughs> okay. I can literally mm. do the interview just talking to you like this. Like this, but it's going to be muffled. So cool. But yeah, uh, we, we keep mentioning that Chris is a musician. For those who didn't know, he actually played for Sponge Cola uh -huh. as a drummer. And now he's oh. playing for K. Uh, Karel. Yeah. Uh, now, um... Which must be a uh, question from musician to musician. Sponge Cola, pop rockish, to K's type of genre. I know, uh, as, as learning, uh -huh. le learning curve more, how was that? Not, there wasn't any learning uh, to do at all. Uh -huh. Because I, uh, me and Yael, even before doing Sponge, we were very mainstream pop. Okay. He liked your mainstream pop. I, I do. Like, my first concert was Hanson. Oh, okay. Hanson. Mm, so, nothing else more mainstream and pop than Hanson. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, with Sponge, rock, it, it's easy to play rock mm -hmm. because you just play loud. Yeah. And 
headbang your hair, or I, I, I had I, hair I, before. <laughs> but with K, I actually enjoy it more mm. because um, it, uh, if I don't play rock, I like playing songs like. Well, re recently I, I like listening to Lily Allen. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So it's the slow groove. I like playing drums when I can actually Play dance, it, yeah. dance to it, and like really groove into it. Yeah. So when I play uh, the songs of K, it's really I can really uh, embrace the music. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Uh, well, I love uh, the music from Sponge. Like I uh, the alternative rock it's it's always been my my baby to like gin blossoms and stuff yeah mm -hmm. but i guess the fact that i've been playing rock for so long and the the change to something mm. calmer and more groovish it's i enjoy it a lot so, yeah and, and for a drummer yung groove talaga is that's that's one thing that you have to really instill and dun katalaga, that's where you yung dancing and yung art form yeah. of drumming really comes into like yung uh, especially what you're talking about. I understand like when it's slower, you have more time to put in uh, artsy fartsy fills mm -hmm. and whatnot. And so, yeah. yeah, I mean th that should be really great for you. So I'm really and and with it. K, uh, one thing that's different from K and Sponge is Sponge. I am like I was one of the four, so it's like. Uh, I have that uh, leeway to really show off the Chris part of Sponge Cola. Yeah. With K, I'm her drummer. So I want, the, the way I play with K is I want to really be background. Like K is still the main focus. So like, f actually I do less fills now. <laughs> but it it feels better it's i don't know how, I, I guess it really comes with age because when you're young when you're in grade school and like with the students i've been teaching before young kids mm -hmm. they think flashy and fast is the only way to be a good drummer but if you ask people my age or older less is more yeah, yeah. and uh, i get to experience that with uh, drumming for k it's like mm -hmm. just let the music be let her let her shine and just be the background and just feel the music yeah. and just be part of the creating mm -hmm. yeah. part of music there's only one tony royster so let's just let him do what he does right? <laughs> let's just let him do what he does right yeah. there so yeah um let's go back to your videos so you process more on making the videos again so you don't you used to not write but now you kind of do skits yeah ish um how do you get people to come along and agree in doing it? Because like I was exactly. telling you, I was telling you <laughs> earlier. Surprised too. I was yeah, surprised too. I was telling you earlier. We watched a, a video. Um, I forgot what it was. Uh, uh, God, I wish Invest was here. Uh, basically, it's two minutes thirty seconds. Uh -huh. There was a bunch. Oh, of a group of there. a group. Yeah, that's. I actually, <laughs> because I, I was so into the Power Ranger cosplay thing, I started a group. <laughs> and those those guys are part of my group. Wow, what's a group? We're called, called Power Rangers Cosplay Philippines. So it's it's just it's <laughs> as straight up as what? generic as that. But I wonder what's a Google. <laughs> I, I I wanted to form actually the the reason why I formed that group is I wanted to go to events with someone. Like yeah. it's weird. Yeah, oh there's a friends. there's a Green Ranger yeah. right there. Just one. Like I wanted to go as a group because well, when you see Power Rangers, you want to see a lot, a lot different yeah. colors and stuff. <laughs> so there, it started with like 10 people and now we have like 50 costumed uh, members. Uh -huh. So. Are you non-costumed there? There are civilians <laughs> there. They, 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 they cosplay as the civilian version of that guy. Oh, oh wow! So there's that really. And uh, what I like about this group and what I guess what the members like is that we're not strict in the sense that we always... I mean, for me, I really want to have a, a nice, as much as possible, like screen accurate. But there are members who make their own. Mm -hmm. So we also embrace their craftsmanship. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like screen accurate, but 
you know, if you're having fun and you like what you're doing and you're happy with the suit that you made, it doesn't matter. There are some kasi na uh, you only have to wear Lakado talaga. Talaga ano. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And even mine, it's not 100%. So that's what I like about this group and how I sort of, you know, manage it is that uh, if, if you, if you want to join us and if you have a costume, great. No problem. That's good. That's good. And how did, how did you transition? Because our topic for uh, today brought to us by John Robert Powers is performing in front of an audience. Ta-da! Talking about performing in front of an audience, you started as a musician, right? Yep. Like, from the beginning, you were a musician. How did you transition into creating your own, own content? And the only audience there is your cameras, and you're just I kind know. of like, right? It's actually, for me, it's scarier. Mm-hmm. Because... Um, when you're playing well before when there wasn't when i was still with sponge there was no instagram i think facebook was still starting uh, out uh when you play uh sometimes you don't even see the audience because yeah. of the lights and when you get out uh when you're done playing that's it i mean you do get a few uh hey this guy like what you did this uh, blah 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 but with YouTube and with technology, once you upload a video, boom, comments. Yeah. It's They're all yeah. there. And like sometimes 30 seconds after like they watch the video, comment kagad. It's And uh, I'm lucky enough that 90% are nice and positive. <laughs> yeah. But you can't... You can't all, please everyone. Yeah. There's always... Those there are always those people, and I I I like dealing with the haters, <laughs> but because I don't fight them. Wait, what's oh, the funniest yeah, yeah. comment you've ever gotten on your YouTube or hmm. any social media platform at that? Because most of my my viewers, I can say like eighty percent are children, okay. kids. So when they Yo. when they comment, it's very child. Ish. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's ano parang when I I read it like, uh, gay like one 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 uh-huh. one and I'm like, yeah, kid wrote that I'm sure. Okay. Uh-huh. And when I get a lot of sometimes they they curse you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And what I love doing is fighting them with kindness. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which is how. I just I reply. Uh, that's an example, ba? Like, I reply in a in a witty way. Na a ch- feel ko a child wouldn't get it. Yeah. yeah. But if an adult read it, it's like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but gotcha. some. But for if I have no time to think, I just say, thank you so much for that comment, and then dot dot and that view. And yeah, that exactly. view. Yeah, because it's the view. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I think that also challenges you, Diba, right? as an artist and as a musician, to keep creating stuff that challenges you. Because if, if everyone agrees with your idea, something must be kind of off. So it should be something that, huh, I don't like that. Or something's wrong yeah. with the camera or something's la la la. So you point things out because you watch it over and mm-hmm. over again. You kind of overlook some of the things that exactly, you're creating. Yeah. But is it, is, is it nerve-wracking to, to create your own material? Like, the, are you harder on yourself now oh, yeah. that you create your own material? Yeah, because um, even uh, when I started doing this, my whole mentality is I want to make something that I would want to watch myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it also comes down to the video editing of it. Mm-hmm. Like, I did not study. I, I used to uh, be an audio engineer for a post-production house uh, Adver- in advertising, so I knew the the editing of the audio. Yeah, I, I no problem with that. But with video editing and effects and all that, like even <laughs> I, I try not to touch effects as much because yeah. I know I don't have the background. So I try to make it uh, with editing like cuts, cuts lang. Mm-hmm. So I try to use like common sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I try to I try to use also. Uh, snappy since the, these are short videos youtube 
I mean, I'm, I haven't done a like a 20 minute episode like Friends or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But for two minutes, it has to be bam, bam, bam. Snap. There's no. I don't even set up like like. Kunyari, if the the scene is in a house, I don't set up the house first like a really money shot of the house. Uh-huh, it's like yeah. go straight. So. I guess it's weird. I think it's different editing for YouTube and for another or short videos than like a full show or a movie. It's because I guess uh, it has to be snappy. So I guess my uh, style of editing my videos mm-hmm. is I don't like 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 there's a like there's a scene na nagreto lang ako. There's like two seconds of nothing hap nothing hap. It has to be. Fast, okay, fast. so there's no build up, there's no yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll go back to performing on stage here. Um, Chris, you've performed. Oh God, how many times have I been sponge cold? Uh, I don't even remember. But you guys have performed numerous times. I'm sure not all those times were like, eh, hey, up out of We can do this. Uh, you have to have been nervous. Oh yeah. Especially that um, working, if you're opening for concerts and, and working with other artists or you must have shinistas na hindi medyo niyong gamay. So how do you deal with those nerves before you get up and like right when you're there? Especially as a drummer, as a core, right? Uh, I deal with it by... Uh, because my one of my favorite drummers is... Taylor Hawkins and Dave Grohl, mm-hmm. so Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, yeah. So they're whenever they play, it's like nag-eb- they they change, they change how it's like they're possessed. Yeah. So that's how I also play drums for Sponge, and also for K, which I not for K, not not super <laughs> wild. Intense. But once the lights go out and it's now the lights for the concert, talaga it's ano. I try to change my persona in a way, mm-hmm. like Chris Drummer, not Chris Normal Chris. Yeah, it's like I think that that helps me with the nerves is because I just let it let it flow. Like, para you slip into character. Yeah. Okay. Kung baka nagmomorph ka rin. Oo, yeah. nagmomorph ka rin. Naging Power Ranger. Power Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. Hindi ka na ano, hindi ka na normal human being with yeah. normal clothes on. Ikaw, Joyce, kasi you are on stage almost every day. Uh, how do you deal with it? <laughs> it's uh, it's crazy. It's actually funny because I was just talking to a friend yesterday. I was telling her that I still get so nervous every time. Every time I go on stage, I still get nervous. I had a, a, a guest thing at the TV show, late night show, just last week. I came into, I mean, yung parang entrance ka nila, Joy Spring, la la la, music, background, walk into it, my hands are shaking. Mm. And I'm just like, you know what, that's always how it feels like. I think even for musicians, you know, especially for musicians, because you have certain songs to play. Sometimes these songs are so emotionally attached to you, you're emotionally charged with the songs that you're performing. Or like you, you believe so much in K, you want to be the background. You want to play good so that she looks good because she's the one in front, right? So it's, I think it's normal and it's great when you feel um, nervous. A great friend of mine once told me that, you know what, you should be scared if you don't feel nervous anymore because That's then true. it would, it, it seems routine to you. That's mm-hmm. why you feel so comfortable just being yeah. on stage and doing all these things. There's a different, there's difference between performing comfortably on stage and, and performing out of just um, uh, being uh, acquainted to it you know because comfortably means you're excited you're nervous but you're excited yeah. i know what drum set uh drum setup i'm going to be doing i know the beats i'm going to be making the groove that i'm going into the character that i'll be becoming that's that's your comfortable but when you're acquainted you're just kind of like okay okay wala yeah. salpak na tayo game na to ganyan yeah. ano set list okay see you okay yan so um, I think for a lot of performers, may it be me hosting or singing, it's, uh, it's more of just understanding what your role there is and ultimately making a connection with, with the audience that you're performing for. Because when you make that connection, di ba? Alam mo yung feeling na ganun, na parang nakikita yung mga taong tumatalo na yung headbang <laughs> And you're just kind of like, okay. Ayos, my work here is done. Mm-hmm. Para ganun, di ba? Or I continue what I'm doing now. So, 
Um, for me, for performing on stage and, and being on stage, it's more of really remembering that you're on stage because you're there to entertain people or organize people when you're a host or entertain or make them feel the music. And when you make people feel something, they never forget that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's why you have so, much, so many views because they watch it, they feel good. It's either it's adults going back to their childhood or children enjoying them being children. So they watch it because it's engaging. It's not, that, I think that's why you were saying, you know, Chris was talking about how his videos were always snappy. The snappy comes from him knowing what he's talking about, what he's making, what he likes, what he wants his viewers to see, what, his, what he wants his friends to see. And that translates into your audience, the right? banana. I like this. It makes sense. It, it's nice to watch, right? You know how you watch videos and then you're kind of like, it's well produced. I have no idea why I don't want to watch it, right? Like, you've seen so many nice videos. Now, oh, it's so good. The topic is great. The actors are beautiful. Whatever. But then two minutes into it, you're kind of like. It just doesn't sit. Yeah. And I think that's a sincerity alarm of people. You mm -hmm. know, when you're performing on stage or when you're creating material like what you do, they know if what they're watching is genuinely something that you love or if it's something that you produce because you think it's gonna gain viewers. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, that's why your, your videos are great because you created it because you loved it. You, you thought your friends would like it and you enjoyed watching it. Ah, I put it there, nalang, baka somebody will watch it. And they did! And they picked it up. So, that's it. But, like, for you, how, how is it not... How how is it not get, getting boring for you? Like you've been do you've been a musician since you were young, and now you're transitioning into into so many other projects. How do you not get bored of the craft that you make? Um, right now I just finished making my first non Power Rangers video. Are you allowed to disclose what it is? Um, that yet? It'll well by the time this, <laughs> by, that. The, by the time this is released, not released now. Okay. So. Uh, I guess that was that's that's always the I guess the sub, subconsciously that was the plan all along. It's mm -hmm. not to really. I mean, I love doing all these Power Rangers skits and all that, but I think there's a point that I just want to try like one foot in this genre, yeah. one foot in that genre, just to see, just to make me feel like I'm growing. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, like I, what I said before, never have I thought that I wanted to direct or make videos. But now that this is the path that, uh, that, that was given to me, but I just want to see where it can go. Yeah. What, uh, what um, my capabilities are mm -hmm. in trying another style, trying a different, uh, like an actor to be a part of this video who is not, has nothing to do with power range. Yeah. So it's enough. It's nerve wracking and exciting just to see if it can work. Mm -hmm. So trying out new things and looking for other craft and art to create, I think is any musician and artist's dream. No, and I think that's the, the basic fundamental of being an artist because you don't just stick to one thing. You want to try everything. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've, you've picked on photography also and yeah. You know, um, like like you you don't just sing, you don't just just act and whatnot. You also paint, and you do photography also. So it's just one big spectrum of, of being an artist. So a great artist just tries everything, I suppose. Yeah. And ultimately, being in front of a crowd or performing for an audience does not necessarily mean being on stage. As Chris is here, he plays on stage. But also the world can be your stage with the technology that you're doing now. As you mentioned, the number one country of your watchers is not from the Philippines, but from the States, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty of, of, of the interwebs. If you use it correctly, mm -hmm. you can reach out to lives and people who are across the world from you and just realize that, you know what, you have the same interests and you're creating content for me that I thoroughly love and enjoy watching. So. Being in front of a stage is not important if you do not know the kind of message that you want to put out there. So I think that's what makes you a great YouTuber. High five! Which means you can please, can you please tell us um, where they can watch your videos and how they can check you out on Twitter, Instagram, and whatnot. So my YouTube channel, you can just go to chriscantadaforce.tv. 
Force. Chris Cantata Force. Okay. Yes. Uh, my Facebook is also Chris Cantata Force. My Instagram and Twitter, uh, it's at TK2342. There we go. That's on your screen right there. there. Why TK2342? Everyone's asking. It's because uh, uh, before Power Rangers, I was really, and still am, super Star Wars. Yeah. Like my, like right. my tattoos, uh -huh. everything. So before uh, having a costume with Power Rangers, I had a full. I still do uh, the a full stormtrooper. Storm yeah. So TK twenty three forty two is my number in this international costuming group, Star Wars costuming group called the Five Hundred First Legion. So it's like rank. It's like like army. Uh -huh. <laughs> so TK is for stormtrooper, and then you pick your number, and then iba TC for clones, and then marami talaga. So uh, I made that Instagram. Like, like years before I ever. Yeah. No. So 2342 because it's from Lost. Oh, 2342. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the those, numbers. Those numbers. Because <laughs> each, the, the, the thing would go yeah, cycle. Yeah, 4, and 8, 15, yeah. 2342. Yeah, I never watched Lost. What? You should. If I you was wanna... watching Grey's Anatomy at that time, ah, okay, okay, okay. So I was in the emotional side of it. Okay. Life. okay. You should watch it if you really want to get lost in your own mind. Like, what the, like, what the hell is happening? happening? I like Breaking Bad. Did you, did you know the actual president of ABC got fired because he made the pilot episode of Lost? It cost so much money. Whoa, yeah. I didn't hold that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got fired? He got fired because it cost so much money. Fun fact, oh that's all I just But it, it probably gained a lot of money too. It did. It gained the network a lot of money. Ultimately, they thought it was going to flop. That's why they fired him because the whole... Most of the budget for the show went into that pilot episode of crashing the plane, yeah, and then getting everybody on the island. Oh yeah, but it, it you know, it, it, as anything else, it makes for a great show. It makes for a great um, content, just like you guys. Uh, so from JRP performing in front of an audience, the tips are to practice, practice, practice. How often do you practice? Like drums. Uh. Because of shooting and conceptualizing, I don't get to like Practice only lot. when we have a gig na lang with K. A few a few days before I review everything. Well, but before he was able to do this, he practiced a lot. Oh yeah, because I also taught. I taught yeah. drums at uh -huh. one point. So with Talia yeah. too. <laughs> oh, think before you speak or perform. Feel the fear. Use it to keep you on your tones as what you have mentioned earlier. Try to stay calm and take deep breaths and pick an object or face and concentrate on it. Hopefully it was not some random creeper that you're staring and probably would be giving a different message to Face it. guys, face face starts from here, here to here. here. Not here. To hear. Although okay. it can be sometimes if that's the only thing that they're showing. <laughs> Tell your tatas to stop <laughs> staring at me. <laughs> um, but thank you once again for being here. Thank that you. was a great insight for fun, anyone who ever great. wants to watch his videos. The videos once again are up on YouTube. It's at chriscandadaforce.tv. TV. Um, and also on Facebook and the Twitter and Instagram for Chris is TK2342. Star Wars, yeah. You got it. <laughs> and since we're going, can you please swear your... Oh my God. You have to teach us how to do a pose. Oh my God. Just it's For our screen cap of the week. For our screen cap of All the right. week. Which, they, a funny thing. We go, screen cap of the week, and then they never they, screen cap it. They screen cap us doing it before. Yes. Okay. I guess you can do one, one, the right one in a fist, and the other one like, like that, yeah. Alright. One more screen cap of the week. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. Please make some noise once again for Chris Cantata. <laughs> All right. All right. Join us again uh, next week for another riot. Thanks very much for sticking around this week, even though it got weird every week. And hey, follow us on social media at the Riot weird. PH. Uh, at the Riot PH. Uh, us on our personal accounts. My name is at. Uh, Chewy Tur at Joy Spring. Yaz, yaz. And of course, you can uh, view the previous episodes on youtube.com slash NMFTV Youth. Also on J iTunes. I forgot how to do it. Basta, search mo lang yan. NMF, er, The Riot.
Right, sa iTunes. Yeah. This is so cool. It's yeah. just like he's quiet. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Check out, Yung Kai Pati is out now, diba? Is there going to be another one next week? On the road. Okay. Check out On the Road. The Joyceness is there. Uh, also, uh, we're welcoming Miss Patty Chu to the NMF TV family. So, yeah. I think. I'm not yet sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have yet to watch it. I have yet to watch it. I just saw the trailers earlier. But yeah. Thank you once again, Chris. Chew. All right. Everybody, peace out. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.